all right i don't know how quick this is going to be but i'm still unpacking and remember i showed you the sitting room i was in last time and how it's it's gotten better and i don't feel like moving the camera around because i still have to use my phone i do have internet but my laptop is all fucked up so but none of that is what this is about so i'm still in the process of unpacking because one i have vacillated between extremely depressed and extremely energetic and it just makes it hard to want to do stuff also, I apologize about the lighting in here. I don't have curtains or blinds or anything on these windows in here. So it's a little misty looking, let's just say it here. But, um, so I'm unpacking and trying to get things clean and organized and put together. So I found in one of the boxes from Germany, I found this book. And it's called House of Leaves. And this is as far, I got to like page 53. And I always wanted, wanted to talk about it because I'm like, I used to read a lot and then I got out of the practice of reading. The internet has destroyed my concentration levels. And I, for a little while, I wanted to get back into reading. So one day, because for whatever reason, every now and then I will look at people reviewing books on YouTube even though I know I'm not into reading. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie. If I wanna read, I like reading smut and trash. <laughs> so, cause that's like the only thing that'll captivate my attention because my mind is just, a dirty mind is a terrible thing to waste. But I, I found, somebody had reviewed this book and they said it was good, but they said it was weird. And it is weird. It's a very odd book. <laughs> so, I got a copy for my dad and then I started re watching more reviews of people who read it and they're like, it's, they were like, honestly, it's a book you either love or hate. It's either you love it because it is so odd or you hate it because it is so weird. It's like, there's no in between with this book. And I was, I was like, okay, I'll read it. It just seems interesting. So... I have, as you see, have not gotten through it. It's a thick book. I'm only on page 52 or 53. So the premise from what I understand is this dude who is an unreliable narrator, um, he breaks into this house of this guy who died with his friend and they find these videotapes or something like that. And, um, they start, or they find a book. I can't remember if it's videotapes or a book. Um, but either way, they find this thing that this dead guy has, this either videotapes or books that this dead guy has, and the n unreliable narrator starts reading it, and the, the, the thing that the unreliable narrator finds, um, the, the, that the dead guy had is this situation where this family moves into this house, but the house is bigger on the inside than it is on the outside, and the house periodically changes <laughs> like it just like a door will be somewhere where it wasn't and it's just all this weird fucked up shit is happening <laughs> in this fucked up house and it progresses it progressively gets worse but the guy telling the the house story is different than the unreliable narrator that we start the the story story with so it gets bananas and where I fucking stopped was, before I tell you where I stopped, okay, one of the reviews, the lady I watched, she was like, I started reading this book and I was already at a weird time in my life. It's kind of where I started reading this book. And she was like, I had to stop reading because it got a little never ending story-esque. And I was like, that's what I was feeling the entire time I was reading House of Leaves. I'm like, it feels like I'm in the never ending story. I feel like fucking Sebastian in never ending story where I'm reading all this shit, but it's actually happening. And it, it's, it's a freaky, I applaud, um, Mark Z. I cannot pronounce his last name. I am not going to try to pronounce his last name, but Mark Z, Dan whatever his last name is and I'm sorry I don't want to butcher it but this man's power of writing is unfucking believable because you really do feel like you're with everybody you're with the people with the fucked up house but you're also with the unreliable fucked up narrator and 
his powers of writing are just insane because I was also feeling very never ending story esque and I had to stop reading it. And where I stopped was where the unreliable narrator started seeing weird shit out of the corner of his eye because the weird shit in the house was kind of like getting into his head and and I was starting to feel like I was seeing shit out the corner of my eye. And I'm like, oh, no, 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 no. Then I was still in Germany. We were living in the house in Germany. The house in Germany was a little bit creepy. It wasn't, it was just creepy. And I periodically would feel like somebody was watching me. It was a weird situation in that house. So, and then Jose had to go on a business trip and I was like I'm not gonna be in a fucking creepy house <laughs> by myself and feeling like I'm already feeling creeped out this is this story is not helping this situation so I just fucking stop reading it I stopped reading House of Leaves because I was just like I can't do this right now I can't be somewhere scared out of my damn mind by myself so I'm kind of tempted because as I've said multiple times now the only way for me to defeat a depressive streak is I have to be scared but I don't know if I want to read this because I really only like being pretend scared and I'm still kind of reeling from um whatever that oh my god I know not creepy fun um urban spook remember I told y'all about that um that analog heart honestly this would make a good ass analog heart like, if somebody wanted to undertake it. Because I know the author never wants House of Leaves to be a, a movie. Because I don't think... he's. I think what I read was he doesn't believe Hollywood would do it properly. Hollywood would not do it properly. Somebody on YouTube would. He They would hook the shit up where you wouldn't know... It would be fucked up, scary, and you wouldn't know up from down, and you'd be all fucked up. So, honestly, if they did turn it in, he would have to get one of these analog horror people to actually do a House of Leaves. And I think one of these, like, Remy Abode, who did um, Gemini Home Entertainment, Urban Spook would have you all fucked up, too, because that's that serial killer analog horror one. That has me all fucked up. Um... I watched somebody talk about some dude who did something called Skidamarink, which is an actual horror movie, but the person who did Skidamarink got their start on YouTube. I think they would hit hook, hook House of Leaves up where you'd be all fucked up and like, what the shit? So I think if the guy who wrote this book wanted to do this story justice and have you all fucked up, you he would have to go to one of these YouTubers out here, but... I don't know if I want to undertake starting getting back into it because it really did give me never ending story vibes like hard. And then when that lady said it, I was like, ooh, that was exactly how I felt. But if you can handle it, it's a lot. This, is a, this book is thick, but it's got, when I opened it, it's got a lot of other stuff in it. It's got, it's got pictures. It's got letters from other situations is it's not totally this book is not all all of this it's not it's all of the story but it's got other stuff in it too but I kind of want to get back into it because I need to break this depressive streak but at the same token I was seeing shit out the corner of my eye because of this book I remember I remember reading the part that I stopped at and thinking I saw some shit and I was like, uh-uh, nope. And I knew my husband was about to dip for a business trip and I'm like, uh, nah, nah, nah. And now I live in a place that gets fucking indie horror game dark at night. So that's the last shit I need to be like, oh, like, oh God, what the fuck? I can't see my hand in front of my ass or my face or anything else what the fuck, and I'm, if there's something creepy happening, I didn't even get to the part in this book, something about, there's an endless staircase and a minotaur at the bottom of it, I haven't even gotten to that, I wasn't anywhere near where that part is, but it had me that fucked up on page 52 or 53, where I was like, nah, you know what, I'm noping the fuck out of this, so, I don't know, but I, need, I don't know, do y'all think I should continue, or start from the beginning and then continue, but, 
Oh no. So that is all I have. And I will see y'all at another point. Later.